Hi folks, uh, welcome back to another basic PHP video. This time I'm going to be covering arrays. Um, I wanted to do conditionals before this just because uh, it can help a little bit in building arrays and uh, also the next video will be covering loops which you use arrays quite a bit with loops. Um, but I'm going to get my get rid of my code from the last video and I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it ARR, so short for array. And the way that we create a new array is we equal or we set our variable equal to we use the array keyword and inside parentheses we pass in all the values that we want. So I'm going to do an array of names. So this would be like a class list. So now we have three members of our class. And if we were to do an echo like we normally have been doing with all of our um, our variables, all that's going to happen is it's going to spit out an array. So it's just telling us what type of object it is or what type of uh, variable it is. We want to access the information inside. Think of an array as a grid or uh, a spreadsheet kind of, a one, one spreadsheet row. So each of these has a specific place. So an array always starts with a zero, is the, the first place, a 1 is the second place, a 2 is the third place, so on and so forth. We want to access the information at place 0, or the first index. So what we need to do is we put in square braces, and then we pass in the place that we want to access. So we put in a 0 to access the first place. If I were to save this and refresh, now I get Nick. If I were to do a 1, I would get Tom, and you guys get the idea. One tip that I have found is, because it's not really intuitive, we don't start our places at one nor or at 0 normally. What you can do is you can type in the place that you want to look for, so you want to get the first item in the list, and then subtract 1. And this will give you 0, and that should give you Nick. Um, if you are, if you happen to have a zero here, it will throw an error. So this isn't always the best approach, um, but if you're just learning, it's a good idea to 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 do this, and you, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to understand. Um, so that is simple arrays. Now, what if we want to? Whoops, we'll put this back to zero. Now, what if we want to add to our array? Let's say we need, we have someone who's joining our class. What we can do is we can take our array variable and then two square braces with nothing inside. So this is creating a new entry in our array. And we'll set that to a value. And we'll give this one, uh, give it a value of Jenny. So now, if I were to go through this, Jenny would become the third index, or the or the the fourth index, but the third place. So if I were to save this and refresh, I now have Jenny. Uh, the one problem with this is, if you were to do four here, because we don't have an actual index at the fourth place, we would get an error. Or in this instance, I don't have display errors on, so it's not really seeing anything, but it would be an out-of-index error. So that's how you add to an array. Now, let's say we want to access items by their name rather than by a number. So if we were to do a Nick, we can equal, we can set Nick as the number, or as the thing that we access by, and we can give it a string value or anything. Let's say we are doing age, so we'll give each of these an age. And I'll get rid of Jenny. So now we have what's called an associative array. We take a string value and we use that as our key, our thing that we use to grab the information from the array. And then we set it equal to whatever information we want. In this particular piece we're doing age 
So I'm going to change this to reflect that. And I want to get the age of Nick. And if I were to refresh this, I get 24. Now, if I were to pull up Tom and refresh, I get 35. And John would give me 33. So that is an associative array. Um, it's not as easy. Well, I shouldn't say it's not as easy. You can still add Jenny to the mix. And set that to 16. And if I were to pull up Jenny's age now and refresh, I get 16. So you can still add to your array pretty easily that way. Um, let me make sure I get everything. Creating. And let's say you want to get the last item from the list. You can use a built-in function. I'm going to put in a break here. So that way we can split it up. I'm going to echo out array underscore split or no, pop. And then I'm going to pass in my array of age. So now I should get 16 is the last thing. Let's say I change this one to Nick. So up here I'm echoing out Nick's value. But down on the bottom, because Jenny is the last item in the list, I'm getting the age of Jenny. If I want to split an item, what I can do is I can use the array slice piece. And rather than using echo, I'm going to do a print underscore r, which is a function to spit everything out about a variable. So I'm going to do array underscore slice. And I'm going to pass in my array of age. And then I have to give it a number that I want to start at. So an index that I got to start at. So I'm going to do two. And now this should split out John is equal to 33. And if I were to get rid of this, the array pop actually removes the last item from the array. So I should get John and Jenny as I do here. Um, if I want to print everything out about the array before I actually do the split, I can do print r age. And I'll just put in a break here. So that way we can see the, the values side by side. So this is everything about the array that we have before we do the slice. And then these are the two values that we're getting uh, from the slice after it's been processed. Um, these are only a few things that you can do with arrays. You can do merges. You can do quite a bit more. So I encourage you to go to php.net and take a look at uh, all their code that they have there and look at the different array functions you can use. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but uh, that's it for this video. Um, I believe the next video is going to be on loops and then we'll get into like super variables and creating forms and stuff. Uh, so stay tuned for those.